guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be installing custom BMW roundel badges. Custom airbrushed BMW roundel badges. Roundels, badges, whatever you wanna call them. I linked up with a company online called Impulse Designs. They do custom roundels. So you'll notice the difference with this roundel. It looks pretty close to stock, right? The only difference is the outer ring is black. Now, when I'm just holding it like this, it doesn't look like it makes that big of a difference. When I put it on the car, and you compare it to the ones I have in the car right now, it makes a huge difference. These are 10 times cleaner. They go better with the whole theme that I have going on here. Some people like to do like the blacked out badges where they get rid of the blue. Some people like to do the carbon fiber. In my opinion, I prefer to keep the BMW colors on there. That's just like the slight purist in me going for that OEM plus look. I just like to keep the blue and the white on there. I think that's important to the, the BMW brand. But the chrome, nobody likes chrome. We wanna get rid of the chrome. So that outer ring, if you just black out that outer ring, looks a lot better. There are other companies online, I'm not gonna name any names, that do sell these blacked out roundels for a lot of money, like $250 for two of them, which in my opinion is a little insane. I, however, have worked with Impulse Designs here and they ship these to me for a little over $100. So I got two of them, one for the front bumper and one for the trunk for a little over $100 ship, which is, in my opinion, an awesome way to do it. I'm actually going to send them a set of floating center caps and they're gonna do the same thing with those. So I'll have all of the roundels on my car blacked out. It's gonna look so clean, man. Just wait till I put these on and show you guys the difference. Before we jump into the install today, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to New Air. New Air is the sponsor of today's video. As you guys know, I rent an apartment garage. This apartment garage gets really hot. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina. Usually in this garage, it's around 107. It was today when I walked in 107 degrees. Not the most ideal temperature to be working on your car in and making films. It can be really frustrating and honestly, you just get soaked with sweat. And after doing that for a couple of weeks, you kind of lose any interest to work in your garage at all. This is where New Air stepped in. New Air makes this portable AC unit that they sent out to me. And ideally you would have like a hole in your like garage door or like a window that you could run the exhaust fan out to. And I can't really renovate in this garage, so I'm just running the exhaust fan out through under the garage door. I have it cracked a little bit, and then I'm gonna make a piece of foam or like a piece of wood that goes across and just covers up the rest of it. That way we're not letting in hot air while we're trying to get rid of the hot air and only have cold air in the garage. So just to show you guys what we got going on, obviously this is a very temporary setup with my little piece of cardboard. I'm gonna make something that fits underneath that that's nice and snug, that has some foam, uh, maybe some wood, something like that. But you can see I'm running my exhaust fan out, and then here is the actual unit. And dude, this thing is actually pretty sick. It was 107 degrees when I walked in. I've had this on for less than 10 minutes and we're already down to 90 degrees. So this thing is awesome. The reason that I really like this, it's actually made for over 500 square feet. Uh, definitely gonna be able to cool this little garage in no time. And it also has a heater in it. So during the winter, I can flip it over to heat. It's got a timer. You can set it on a timer. Like I could just go inside, do my thing, come out later, and it would automatically cool down the garage at the times that I want. It's got like a sleep mode. It comes with a remote. It's on wheels, so you can move it around easily when I'm not using it I basically just retract the exhaust hose and put it in the corner so it's nice and neat this is honestly perfect for my situation because I'm renting this garage and obviously I cannot like make renovations in here I have a couple of fans but they only do so much especially in this North Carolina heat man it gets really really hot during the summer so finally I have a unit in here that just cools down this garage we'll be down to like 75 in no time so that is awesome you guys huge shout out to new air if you guys are interested in getting one of these AC units highly suggest you do if you're in my situation I'll go ahead and leave a link down below to the exact AC unit that I got go ahead and check it out and grab yourself one if you need one new air thank you so much for sponsoring today's video on to the video let's install these badges so the these are the two badges right here. You got one for the bumper and then one for the trunk. See how subtle that is? I mean, super subtle, but it makes a big difference. I think it's just much more defined and much more clean. Uh, Impulse Designs, they can airbrush anything for you. So if you do wanna like, get rid of the blue and just do black, or if you wanna black out the entire thing, they can do all that. They do a bunch of different custom designs. I'm gonna leave their Instagram down below. Just DM them and they can set you up with it and uh, ship them out to you. I think these look amazing. I'm really excited for this. We've got a couple things here that we're gonna use to knock out this job. Um, for the back 
probably gonna end up using a pry tool like this, trim tool set, and possibly some fishing wire to see how hard this is on there. Usually you can just get them off with a pry tool. And so for the front one, we'll do the same thing. We'll just use a trim tool and some fishing line back here and pop it off. It should come right off. So this should be a relatively easy install for you guys. But let's go ahead and start on the trunk, pull this one off, and then we will uh, work on the front bumper. And I'll show you guys the difference. This thing came right off, it was really easy. Um, literally just came right off. I mean, these are held in by these two little clips right here. So a lot of times people don't even use adhesive, which I'm not going to because you don't need to. And um, we'll just go ahead and clean this up back here and then pop in the new one. All right. Line those up. Now, if you're worried about like that getting stolen or something, I guess you could use adhesive. But uh, for me, obviously the car is mostly in the garage or I'm driving it. But this is fine just like this. You really don't need anything else. Dude, it looks so good. Most people wouldn't even notice it, but it makes, it just makes a huge difference. Makes you do a double take, you know? Yeah, that's sick. The airbrushing is really, really good. Like I'll let you guys know how this holds up over time, but I don't really see it being an issue. Looks phenomenal. So this is what I mean by doing the center floating cap. They're gonna do that outer ring on these as well. So it'll just be completely blacked out. It's gonna look so good. So good, man. Yo, these are hot, hot, hot. All right, so let's go ahead and do the one on the front bumper. So the front bumper one's gonna be a little bit more difficult because these are actually held on by adhesive. Um, we'll probably end up using a combination of this guy and a little bit of fishing wire and we should be able to pop it off. So I ended up going with the fishing line technique. Basically just took about a foot long piece of fishing wire and ended up peeling it off. Uh, we do have some little residue left over. It looks like this will just peel off pretty easily just by hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and then clean up this area. Um, if you guys use fishing line to do this, just make sure that you're pulling up. This whole bumper, this whole front end is PPF, so I'm not super worried about it, but if you don't have PPF, you can really scratch your paint uh, with that fishing wire because it's pretty thick. So just make sure that you're lifting up when you're going back and forth with the fishing line. Get yourself halfway through and then you just go ahead and peel up the rest. I'm gonna remove the rest of this adhesive that's on here. Little trick, if you pull away from the adhesive like that, like don't pull up with adhesive, pull away from it. So, so you pull that way, not like this, but like that. And that releases the adhesive easier. And then you don't break it up into a bunch of little pieces. So pulling away from it, away from it. Lewis over at Sensational taught me that. Freaking legend. Saved me a bunch of times trying to get off adhesive. Yes sir, so now I'll take some isopropyl alcohol, clean that up. I might even send these into him and have him uh, airbrush these ones as well so I have a backup set. Cause these are like brand new, I just put these on the car. So you can see the difference up close here. And they make a huge difference. They look so much better. They also look like a little bit bigger too cause the chrome just kind of disappears. So sick dude. All right, so I cleaned it up pretty good. Got the majority of stuff off. This is just like old adhesive so it's not really gonna get in the way of the new one adhering to it. Um, you'll see that you have those two little marks up top, those indentations. We'll go ahead and reveal the adhesive under here, slap it on, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I give it a firm 20, 30 second press. Dude, this looks so good. It's always the little things, man. It's like the littlest modifications are what just get me so stoked because they make such a big difference. The majority of people wouldn't even notice this. This is one of those little detail modifications that I feel like just makes a big difference. I'm sure some people in the comments are gonna be like, oh, it's not even worth it, which is fine. Don't do it on your car. But that's what sets my build apart from other people's builds. It looks sick, man. With the grill, like everything blacked out, like, oh, it looks good. So like I said before, you guys can black these out if you want. Um, he can do anything, like full custom airbrushing on a badge. I just think this option looks super OE plus, really, really clean, modern. I love it, dude. I love it. So Impulse Designs, I'm gonna have it linked down below. You guys DM him. If you're interested in getting a custom set of roundels for your BMW, any series, any BMW, he can hook you up. Huge shout out to New Air. The garage is already cold. It's already cold in here, it feels amazing. I can't wait to continue to use my garage finally 
that it's not 107 degrees every time I wanna work on my car in here. So huge shout out to those guys. I'm gonna have the AC unit linked down below as well as Impulse Designs, check them out. I think that these badges look 10 times better than the factory ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification, and just like that, this video is over and we're out. Peace.